and go restart, quit, restart, resume, restart, quit, restart, resume, restart, resume. All right, what was I doing? How was I losing? You are in the middle of a boss battle and your healer oh, that's is dead. Right. But not my main healer. He is your main healer. No, she's not. Yes, Remember she how I beat the last round? Yeah. My main healer is actually... Rabbit Luigi. <laughs> Rabbit good Luigi. Luck with, good luck with trying to pull off his, uh, his uh, vampire skills, bruh. Okay. Check this out. Chick Chicky wreck it. No. Oh, I forgot he existed. <laughs> See? There you go. Not even keeping He blends in with the white marble. Someone chose this decor very astutely. <laughs> now, here's the bigger question that I have. Hmm. Wait, did Vampire attribute? Ah, nope. oh, crap. Does he <coughs> track... Alright, this is more for experimentation than it is for, like, usefulness. Does he track my movements? What do you mean? So can I come over here? Bat. Yeah, looks like he tracks. No, his shield's still on the other side. Haha, -ha, he does not track movements. Wait, that's for the next turn. Why don't you boost your hammer? That's what I was gonna do. But I gotta figure out my L and R situations. Okay. Hiya, smushies. You'll see why that tracking system's gonna be important later. I already know. Wow, he's already happen. at 432? I might be able to do this, actually. I don't care about you anymore. I'm just gonna power my way through. Good luck. <coughs> You're gonna die. Well, if I get slid on, yeah. You're gonna die. Don't worry, I got this. Do you? Yes. You're not gonna kill him in this turn. Watch me. I'm gonna crit, he's gonna bounce, uh -huh. and I'm gonna kill him immediately. Uh huh. Oh, here. I wish you could take back. Oh, hmm. I thought the hammer did not have a cooldown. That's okay. Watch, he's gonna move. And I'm going to laugh at him. And you're gonna die. Haha! He moved! I can foretell the future. Aw, oh, dang. That was so close! Look at that! I almost accidentally proved you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't accidentally. Pull all I had wrong. to do was slide. All I had to do was slide on him and do like sixty damage yeah. in a slide. Let me show you how it's done. Who so. the hell is Calavera? Oh, he's the boss guy. Yes. I thought his name was something different. I think you can just overpower him with Luigi and Luigi Rabbit. Because they both have vampire, right? No. He has vampire, he has vampire. Oh, uh, Luigi doesn't? No. He doesn't have a weapon that can give it to him? No, he, he's he's sniper. He stick, he uh he blinds enemies, and I think he freezes um, or he pushes uh. them back. <coughs> I think you can do it with the two green guys. Two green, one red. Oh, you think? That's nice. Leave the thinking to the big boys, Tyler. You thought the last match, and look where that got you. I, I can't. You I, thought the last <laughs> match, and look where that got you. Do you really want me to run a replay right now of how you were like, Again. oh, I can go down the Wait, long path. I can go down the I long path. I already beat this game, okay? I can go down the long path and still beat this thing. Fail. Again, oh, yeah, fail. But I, I already can, beat this game. I can Thank just, you very much. I can just power my way through this thing. Fail. Again, twice. Yeah, twice. That's twice to your one to oh, my one so is far. Is it? Is it? Is it? Because uh, our viewers say otherwise, sir. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see.
The secret <coughs> to beating him is written on the walls. We have to read each one to find out his ultimate weakness, and then we can do it's 500 damage per turn. <laughs> it's turnips. Oh, ability we don't have yet. You know, what I really want is for Yoshi to be able to suck up one enemy and then use it as a projectile against another enemy. This is what this is what I want from Yoshi. Mm -hmm, that's about what you're going to get. about to say how are booze not an, an, an enemy in here and then I remembered oh yeah they are <laughs> they are an enemy they're annoying as shit <laughs> that's a mucky you got the ghost guy to circle around and trigger the other one I mean it's still unlucky that both of us weren't able to get <coughs> both the big guy and the ghost in the blast radius. Yeah. But it's RNGs is saying. And so now the big one shall take a break and it shall be the ghost that shall take the extra damage. Hey, this casket doesn't have a um, piano on it. Oh, I did that wrong. Hello. Was there a chance to bounce? <coughs> No. It's okay, you got two heals. Mm. Can't you heal him from there? And yes, you can. Nice. Nice! Her heal radius is a lot wider than I remember it being. Just because I upgraded it. I don't pay attention to that menu. I know you don't, but you should. Why? I'm off doing other things. I gotta organize my files so my computer doesn't slow down. That sounds like a new problem there, but I'm just kidding. That counts as out of bounds? Yeah. Did you push me down the stairs? <coughs> Let me get all these coins. Coins that we almost never use. What are you talking about? Buy weapons all the time. What happens to all the weapons that we partner that we find? Are those useless? Mm, they start becoming useless. Is she kneeling because she's damaged? No, she's really because she's trying to hide. Oh. Even though that ledge is worthless, according to me. <laughs> because I say so. I was not trying to do that. I've been playing too many different game systems. Hey, you can you can try to see if you can jump off it. Nope. Aww. But now we know. <laughs> Did you know that? You can jump off your your allies, but not your your bomb cart. Now you know. Out of all of the segments in that show, that was the most attentive to my six-year-old brain. What show? <coughs> what show? Yeah. You don't know what that's from? No, off the top of my head. That makes me sad. It's from Bill Nye the Science Guy. Oh. He had little segments where, like, the whole screen would go kind of like... Shaky? No, it would go kind of like... Like there'd be like a... like I don't know, like a... Go kind of like grayscale, but it was like kind of like a ray of light sort of thing. And I was like, "Did you know that?" And then like text would scroll, and one of the one of their staff children would like read like a fact on there. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Did you know that sponges are sponges change their sex like during half of the year?" Now you know. And then the male dude would come on again and just scream at the audience again. At, you know, now you know. I don't know why, but like out of everything in Bill and I, like that was most most prevalent in my brain. And usually, 
children's brains reject being yelled at. <laughs> or having facts just <coughs> tossed at them. Thrown at you, like, yeah. Uh. But I guess there's some psychological goings on in that little segment that I'm not aware of because it worked. <laughs> It stuck with me, even though I don't remember. To be fair, though, I don't remember any of the actual facts that happened there. I just remember that segment very well. It's like the perfect commercial advertisement. <laughs> Ooh. He's like perpetually trying to find the keys that he lost, but in his hat. He's just like, Ooh, where did you go, George? No, it's not in there. See, I think Freeze, despite the fact that it would be a lot more frustrating to play against, I think Freeze should do a lot more than just, like, block on the head and make it harder to do stuff. Like, it should immobilize them or something. Oh, that's what stone is for. See, and stone should just be, like, instant kill, but, like, a lower percentile of success. <coughs> this comes from my Final Fantasy roots. <laughs> yeah, I know. Here they come, around the bend. <laughs> now he's like scream. he's got scream face on, he's just like, <gasps> I feel like it's a good thing that they chose to have rabid Yoshi mm -hmm. in the grasp there, because if that was actually Yoshi, I feel like it would cry, and this game would be unplayable, because I'd feel too bad. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> I can't see, I can't imagine Yoshi crying. Actually, I can, because there's an artist that did a very good rendition of Mario leaping off his back and sending Yoshi into the chasm of death. Mm. Dark? <laughs> Just, <coughs> what what's he doing? Playing TF2 with his Rancho Relaxo? I think it's weird that unless he uses the Rabid Yoshi as a pillow, I think it's weird that he has no where to rest his head in that sarcophagus, in the uh, casket. Which, I guess, to be fair, Rabbit Yoshi would be a lot softer than wood. <coughs> no, Peach, you're gonna die. Never miss. See, I think if the goal is to just deal damage to that thing, you should just get as much opportunity as you can to apply vampire to him and then just have a bunch of hard-hitting dudes. Oh, you son of a bitch. Like I think that might be the route that we could try next. Just to see just how how often we can apply vampire to that guy. Um. Rabbit Mario, Rabbit Luigi. <coughs> Does Rabbit Mario have any alternative weapons that don't do so much? He's just like, well, he has the, the hammer like Mario. Because the only, the only downside to Rabbit Mario is that he, <coughs> even though he can potentially apply vampire in a wide range of places. He also has the uh, he um he has explosive dash the, too. The uh what's it called? The um the enemies don't exactly clump around the main boss. And so no. the the goal is to try to on every round try to attack the main boss as much as possible. So that's why earlier I was saying that maybe um Luigi, Rabid Luigi and Mario would be more ideal because even though they don't have a heal source if you can try to 
boost the percentage of vampire. Yeah, a vampire to give more to give a higher ratio of application, then you can try to heal that way. Especially if Mario can shoot twice in a round. Um because then you can just focus on shooting the main boss and just kind of vaguely <coughs> forget about everyone else. Like, you can still attack them when they kind of get too clumped up on you. But if the main goal is to deal damage to that guy as fast as possible, then... That might be better. Well, we shall find out. <coughs> Actually, this might work out a lot better. What's the singing one? What's I the singing show passive? You, show you right now. Mario time. Ah, oh, but I don't want to move him too close. Is he a living ghost? Does he draw them in like that? Yep. Oh, it's too far. <laughs> That's what you did. That's what I did the f with Peach the first time, and that's what you succeeded in <coughs> doing with Peach the second, second time. time. I'm moving too close to Mario. <laughs> well, at least you can draw in what's his face, the big guy. No, I can't. What do you mean you can't? Let's see. No, 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 no. Shoot him. You deal oh, yeah. damage to him, and he comes closer. And the Mario already used his passive, so never mind. He's weaker than Peach. Ah. You but probably shouldn't have boosted their attacks no. and had Mario do the thing, because then he could have shot him twice at this point. I got this, bro. Slide, slide, <coughs> slippity slide. Everybody wish he did more damage, so he died. Uh, I was like, oh, is this rabid Mario? <laughs> no. Boing. Burn. Squish. <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Maybe you'll push him back. Because I noticed in the battle in uh, was it two ago? that I was healing a lot more when I was just when I when Peach was dead and I was just kind of using Mario and Rabbit Luigi. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed that I was healing a lot more from doing the slide and shoot combos when they were vampire than I was with just a single application of Literally, heal with Peach. Yeah. <coughs> All right. I think I want to give this group their own episode, so we're going to cut it here, and we'll see if we get a success, or if we have to go back to the drawing board in the next episode. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, I'm nervous! <laughs> well, because we've tried almost every other combination. This also, is the only one that's like... 8.32. Oh, that's right.